what is going on YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Xbox 360 controller that is wired um, this one's gonna be wired with X pattern so I'm gonna go ahead and load up X pattern here and uh, let's just click new that way I can show you how to do stuff with it okay so first of all let's talk about connecting it to your computer um, to make sure it's connected to your computer uh, you wanna make sure it has uh, your first player and um, it's then you're done um, now if you're using a wireless one uh, you won't you have to buy the adapter and that I couldn't tell you how to set up I just went out and bought me a wired one and plugged it up to my computer let it install and it said first player so I'm good so now on the computer we can uh, click uh, we're gonna go to open because we want to open up some pictures um, so you just select the controller that you have and the controller that I have uh, found on here that matches the layout. I don't matter if it's the same color just as long as it's the same layout is this controller right here. So this controller is the same layout as me. So now we're going to set it up. So we're going to go to sticks and we're going to click enable and we're going to say left. So we're going to go left and up and you want to test it out. Now if you click down it's not going to work yet because that's considered as a button so I'll show you how to set that up as well uh, so now we're going to click the other enable button go up and down or left and up and then we're going to go to our d-pad so our d-pad now we're going to enable that and we're going to go up down left right drag it over to our d-pad and then we go to the buttons now we can hit down on the left stick now we can hit down on the right stick put that in the center put that in the center a back button oh we're on the sticks now uh, let me go back to buttons buttons back button the X button don't work for some reason I don't know why but now we go to start LB RB Y X B and then A. Um, and just to make sure, you want to go through the buttons: left trigger, right trigger, Y, X, B, A. Start and then make sure they're all lined up. And now we can go to triggers and enable that. And it's going to say left trigger, right trigger. Make sure everything works. And then click OK. So now you have everything working everything popping up on the screen everything's working great now it's time to set it up so let's see let's do some minecraft settings so i guess i'll go ahead and show you how to do minecraft settings um, first of all d-pad for the xbox version of minecraft this is going to be based off the xbox version of minecraft um, the d-pad there's nothing really you can do with the d-pad other than um, kind of like a uh, arrow keys i guess but uh... I'm gonna do F11 for full screen mode. Uh, back is going to be to see who's on the player player list, which is tab. Um, start is to pause, so that is escape. Um, I'm a to toggle crouch, which is control. So that's gonna be the thumb thumbstick, and we're gonna hit no toggle crouch is shift. My bad, I'm thinking of rust. So we're gonna hit shift, and we're gonna to toggle that. So we're gonna right click on it and click toggle, just like the Xbox version. Now we can toggle. Um, this we're going to click the little wrench and use WSAD. This one we're going to click mouse normal. And uh, this is going to be to scroll down. And this one's going to be to scroll. No, no, no. I'm about to the other way. I, th I think. We'll find out. That's going to be scroll down. This is going to be the click all the way to the right. And this is going to be the click all the way to the left. That way, uh, this is to. Um, place a block this is to delete a block um, A is going to be to jump so we'll put jump X is going to be uh, to open up the menu which is E and then B is going to be to throw out a block which is Q and Y is going to be to select a block which is the middle mouse click so we're going to do three and I believe that is that's I believe that's it. I'm trying to think, what am I forgetting? 
I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Um, so once you get stuff laid out, I think you can go ahead and start using your controller. And you see the mouse moves really slow. So we want to change that. So we're going to go to this, settings, mouse settings. And I have found a 90 to 100 to be good. So I'll put 91 because it's kind of real tricky to get to 90. Um, so 90, you see it's real sensitive, but hey, it works good when you're in the game. Okay, so now you can exit out of that. Um, let me go back to here for a second. You can also uh, set the dead zone. Like, see, uh, I'm not my finger's not on the controller, but on the screen it's to the left a little bit. And if I were to make this small, that key would be activated. See, it gets stuck a little bit. So the dead zone, you want to make sure it's about 20%. And you can also control the diagonal size, stuff like that. 40 is what it was set on. So now I'm X out of that. And everything should be working good now. Um, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and try it. Uh, make sure you save it. That whenever you X out, it'll be saved and you can save it to your desktop. So let's go try out a bit of Minecraft. Okay, so I have tried out the full screen button that works. It, it messes up when I record, so I'm not going to show it on camera, but. Um, it does work, it's just down on the D-pad. Alright, so now let's try moving around, works good, moving forward, left and right. Uh, oh, I forgot about running. We will go back and get that, I'm going to show you how to toggle, so stay tuned. Uh, deleting blocks, works, jumping, works, uh, that works. Oh, <laughs> throwing out a block works as well. Golly, what did I have? This works. Uh, that's the place. Placing works. Um, see who's on the. Oh, it's not a server, but this would be to see who's on the server. Pause button works great. Um, let's try crouch. Toggling crouch works. Um, let's see. What is Y? Why is he select a block? Let's select a block. Uh, let's place this down. That way I don't have any left. And I forgot I am on creative. Let's throw them out. And Y, select a block that works. Um, B is to throw out a block, that works. So all this stuff works. <laughs> it's just like the Xbox version. Oh my god, it saves so much on your hands, golly. So much easier using a c controller. Um, I just thought of something too. Um, a another thing that you could use for the D-pad is... which was it? It was just in my head. Oh, uh, to look at yourself, which is F5. Yes, F5. So we can, uh, go back to the settings so let's go back to um let's go back to the things and uh tweak it a little bit more all right so now we're back on x pattern and what i was talking about running is we're going to go click on w go to advance and we'll do about 95 percent right here on the distance you see so do 95 then add distance zone then we're going to do control w now what this does is whenever you push the trigger forward past 95 percent it's control W, which is running. And uh, F5 is to see myself. So on the Xbox version, that is the click right here. But I want that to be my crouch. No, it's this click right here. So yeah, we'll do F5 for that, which works out perfectly. Um, now, if you do uh, Twitch and stuff, you can also set that as a D-pad, like start Twitch, pause Twitch, uh, start, stop. You can always do stuff. Um, and now you can also do this. This is what I love about doing this. Okay, so we're going to click right here, or right click on it, and we're going to do set selector, and we're going to do set two. And we're going to do two way. So what this does, this is basically a mode button. So whenever I click it, uh, the D-pad right here, whenever I click it, it goes to mode two. As you see on the screen, it goes to mode two. When I click it again, it goes back. Now you could also do this as well. You could go to while held, so if I hold it down, I could do something else, then let off and it won't do it no more. Or you can just go to where one way, it to where it won't go back. You have to find another button that makes it go back. Like if I want this one to go back, we can do this, and then click set one, one way. So this is two, mode one. So you can toggle that, but I'm not a big fan of that, unless the game needs a lot of stuff. So guys, um, this is how it works. It's awesome. 
Um, like I said, uh, whenever you push it past 95%, you'll start sprinting. If you don't want that, well then <laughs> don't do it. Uh, everything seems to work on here. Um, you can also modify it if you want to. I'm just giving you a simple layout. Um, but if you like this video, please like it and also subscribe for more YouTube 